Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. So as you've seen in the thumbnail, this video is going to be all about power leveling and the fastest way to do it. So I'm going to go ahead and put it out there right away and say this is a two player method. You cannot do this solo. So if you and some friends play the game and you both want to help each other out and get some second characters or your, maybe even your third or fourth character to max level super quickly in less than two hours, this is a guide for you. So we're going to go ahead and get things started. First things first, obviously the person who's going from level 1 to 30 wants to create the new character that they want to play on. They're then going to skip the prologue and the person who is doing the boosting is going to be waiting in the lobby for them. Once the person being boosted has finished the prologue, they're going to join the game of the person in the lobby. So the person on the high level character is going to want to select a story point called the Caravel and they're going to want to select a second one in that story point called defeat your gap and load that checkpoint up now you want to keep your game on well tier one once you've loaded into the mission you're going to go ahead and open the shutter and then you're going to skip the cutscene you can skip all of the cutscenes but i must stress that the host of the game needs to skip the cutscene first because if the second person skips a cutscene and then the host does it sometimes it bugs out and you end up just getting stuck in the cutscene so what you're gonna do guys is you're just gonna run through the mission like normal and because it's on world tier one you should just be able to one shot him every time you'll notice that once you fully kill him and you've completed the mission the person you're boosting will actually jump from level two all the way to level eight in one go and then make sure you're on the credits cutscene that this host skips first. Now once you've skipped the cutscene and you've loaded into the Outriders camp, the person being boosted is going to run over to the chest and open it up for a guaranteed legendary. And because they've killed the end boss, they're going to have access to expeditions. Now this is where the leveling gets good guys. So because they have access to expeditions now, what the host is going to do is they're going to go ahead and select the expedition. I would suggest Kemplan or Boomtown because they're the quickest expeditions. Now what you're going to do is the host is going to go ahead and set it to tier 1. That way you can just run through and absolutely blitz everything inside as quick as possible. Once you've finished each expedition and you open up the drop pod to get the rewards, that's when the person getting boosted is going to gain their XP. Now the XP pretty much stays the same. Whilst we were doing it, my friend was gaining 1 level per expedition completion. And if you're completing each expedition on tier 1, you should be able to smash them out in about 5 or 6 minutes of mission max. Another thing you can do if you load into the expedition table and you have really long or really bad maps, is you can either choose an expedition and as soon as you load in, abandon it, go back to the outsider's camp, go on the table and you'll have a whole new lot of expeditions to choose from. Or another method to change them quickly is go back to the lobby and then enter the game again, go to the table and it will have reloaded a whole new bunch of missions for you. So basically all you're going to do from here is you're just going to spam expedition after expedition as quick as humanly possible. We were working our way through them at a pretty decent speed and we got one level per expedition completion. In total it took us an hour and 45 minutes to get from level 1 to 30. The mods that I had on my weapon were Bone Shrapnel and Embalmer's Rage. Bone Shrapnel basically makes it so in a tier 1 expedition, when you kill someone who's in a pack of enemies, the Bone Shrapnel is so strong, it's pretty much going to kill the entire group of NPCs just by itself. And then every time you get a killing shot on an enemy with your gun, if there's any type of elite nearby, you can pretty much just melt him with normal bullets. You'll no longer have to hit his crit spot, because every single bullet out of your gun for the next 4 or 5 seconds will be a critical. It just helps so, so much clearing all the ads and smashing your way through the missions a bit quicker. So guys, this is the quickest possible way that I have found to get a second character to help your friend level up if they've just got the game to get to max level as quickly as possible. It's super quick and super efficient. Of course, once your friend is max level and it can do tier ones, you could then switch around and they could help you do a character. Instead of spending between four and six hours on the main storyline, you could have your second or third character max level in just under two hours. I'm going to be looking into a solo guide for leveling and try and figure out how to do that the quickest way possible because I know there's a lot of you that play solo or your friends don't play the game. So I understand this is going to be useless for some of you. I just want to say welcome to everyone joining our Discord. You can find links to it in the description of the video and you should definitely come and join our community. That's going to wrap it up for the video, guys. I really do hope it helped and I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did enjoy the video please feel free to drop a like on it and while you're doing that you might as well be a legend and hit that subscribe button for me thank you for watching guys i'll see you in the next video peace